All right, friends, welcome to Flight Test Tech. If you're watching this video, most likely by now you've already built our new FT Guardian version two. Now in this video, we're gonna be showing you how to do a firmware update. The reason that firmware updates are important, especially with taking a control board right out of the box, is because it gives you the latest and greatest features as the control boards and also as Betaflight evolves. Currently, the firmware loaded on this is 4.3.0. There is a new firmware version that's 4.3.1. So for doing a proper update, you're first gonna need your USB cable. Now make sure with your USB cable, it's not a charge only cable, but it has the ability to transfer data. If you're having problems communicating with your control board, that may be just because of this cable right here. You're also gonna need to download your beta flight configurator. Now there's gonna be a link for this below and the beta flight configurator we're gonna be using is 10.8.0. And the last thing that we're gonna give you a link for to download is something called the Immersion RC Driver Fixer. A lot of times computers will have difficulty being able to connect with configurator tools, do firmware updates. Downloading this driver fixer is a really great tool to be able to help you get everything you need to have seamless connection. All those links are gonna be down in the description below and also available on our resources tab. So by now you downloaded your Betaflight configurator, we have our data cable, and we also have our control board. Make sure that any time that you're connecting this that you always have your props off. Let's go ahead and connect this here. There we go. And if everything went properly, you're going to see that when I move this around that we have instant connection. Now that we confirm that we have proper connection here, you're going to notice that it says 10.8.0 in the top and our firmware version is 4.3.0. If I go right next to my disconnect button and I hit update firmware, once we hit our update firmware, you're going to see that we're in the firmware flashing area. And we have a drop down box here where we're first going to need to be able to select the type of control board. The type of control board we want to select is JHEF411. There we go. Click on full chip erase. And when we do our drop down, you're going to see that we have 4.3.0. Just recently during, uh, looks like uh, July 12th, they came out with 4.3.1. We're going to select 4.3.1, we're going to scroll down, we're going to click on load firmware online, and then we're going to hit flash firmware. As it goes through the process, you're going to see it's currently erasing, now it's flashing. And if you notice you're having difficulties with this step, that would be a good indicator that you need to download that Immersion RC driver fixer. Now that we've had our successful programming, we can hit connect. You're gonna get a notice here saying there is custom defaults for this board available. Normally a board will not work properly unless custom defaults are applied. Do you wanna apply these custom defaults? It's very important at this point that you say apply custom defaults. So we're gonna do just that, gonna touch that. And now we got another warning and this is really good because this coaches you along to make sure nothing's missed. It says, warning, the accelerometer is enabled but is not calibrated. Basically what the accelerometer does is gives you a nice true level. This is a time where it's going to be really important that you're going to want to make sure you calibrate your accelerometer, but also you're going to want to make sure that your quad's not like leaning on its edge or that you're not in an old 1920s barn with an unlevel floor. Make sure that you have this on a nice, perfectly level surface and we'll calibrate next. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit close. You're going to see that we have our little tiny uh, picture of our quad here. And as we touch that, you can see it moves. All we simply need to do is hit calibrate accelerometer and it's gonna creep back to perfectly zero. All right, friends, at this point, you now updated your firmware. We already move on to the next video, and that's gonna be specifically showing you how to bind and how to do a file configuration dump on the Guardian. And along with the Zorro, we're also gonna have the same type of video for the T8 Lite. So friends, thanks for being part of the Flight Test family. Thanks for watching Flight Test Tech. We'll see you in the next video.